For the last month, I've been using a new application from MindJet called MindJet Connect. MindJet Connect brings real-time collaboration, document management, sharing, and team planning to Mind Manager. When you install MindJet Connect, you will notice a new command at the bottom of the taskbar called Workspace Manager. I'm going to click on that. That takes us to our Workspace Manager. You notice in the ribbon up above that you have different commands that are specific to Workspace Manager and MindJet Connect. I'm going to focus on the workspaces over here. As the administrator, you can set up various workspaces depending upon the projects that you're going to be working on. When I click on a different workspace, you'll notice that you have different documents that are associated with that workspace. I'm going to click back on the conference. I'm in the process of planning a conference on October 1st on visual mapping, and I am using MindJet Connect to store documents. In this case, you can see I have some bio bios for some of my speakers that are in Microsoft Word document. I also have some mind maps. And I also have some picture files that I'm going to store in my workspace. You can store other files as well, such as Microsoft Project files, PDF files, or any other files that you would like your team members to collaborate on. Looking down here at the workspace members, as the administrator, I can add members to my workspace, and those would be people that would be collaborating uh, on a particular project. I can also set permissions. You notice that since I am the um, administrator, uh, I can set permissions. And notice that I have Stephanie Diamond. And you can set owner, author, or reader. In this case, I have set up Stephanie to be an author, which would allow her to make changes in the maps that are being shared in the workspace. Down here in this pane, I can take a look at the properties for a particular mind map and also previous revisions if any had been done. To open up the mind map I just double click and now my mind map is available to me. You'll notice that the only difference that you see is a new pane up in the right hand corner which shows which individuals, which members are actively working on the mind map. In this case I'm the only one that is, is working in the workspace so it shows a picture of an icon and it also shows me that I'm the owner of this particular mind map. If some of my other speakers were collaborating with me, I would see their name and the associated icon for the level or permissions that they have. I'm going to click on speakers and you will notice now that I have my speakers. MindJet Connect uh, is a great tool for collaboration. In this case I have my various speakers from my conference and with MindJet Connect, since I've given them permissions, my speakers can go in and we can work on this in real time or they can work on this independently by adding information uh, to the mind map. To go back to Mind Manager, I simply click on Workspace Manager and this takes me back uh, to my workspace. In addition to using this as a collaboration tool, you can also set up uh, instant meetings and share your your screen and your computer with other members of your team and you can also instant message and chat uh, with members that are in that workspace. So this is just a, a quick tour of how I'm using MindJet Connect to plan my conference on October 1st, 2008.